Hi, and welcome back to Logitech. Today, we're gonna to be connecting your Lightspeed wireless mouse. Lightspeed is our incredibly low latency wireless protocol for mice and other time critical peripherals. But in this video, we're just focusing on getting your mouse connected. Before we get started, go ahead and pause the video and click the link in the description to download the G-Hub software. It's not necessary for the mouse to function, but it enables you to personalize your experience, to fine tune your play settings, and depending on your mouse, assign commands and macros. It opens up a whole world of possibility with your peripheral. First, let's gather up all the things that we're gonna need to connect the mouse. You'll need the mouse, the light speed dongle, the extender, and the cable. Also, while we're at it, let's power on the mouse. Before we get into the larger setup, if you're gaming on the go, there's no issue connecting the Lightspeed dongle directly to your laptop like this. But for more established setups and for a little more redundancy, we'll want the cable and the extender involved for reasons that I'll come back to. Let's go ahead and grab the cable and connect that to a free USB port while leaving the smaller USB connector near where your mouse will be. From there, go ahead and plug the Lightspeed dongle into the extender if you haven't already, and then connect the other end of the extender to the cable. The cable and extender are going to serve a few purposes here. One, this is gonna close the distance between the dongle and the mouse, assuring lower latency. Two, this will allow you to charge the mouse when necessary without sacrificing any time, so nothing stands between you and the game you're playing. And three, this provides some distance between any Wi-Fi devices or other 2.4 gigahertz devices near or in your computer. With that in mind, for the best experience, it's important to make sure that your device is at least a couple meters away from any wireless routers or other devices that may strongly broadcast 2.4 gigahertz signal. And just a quick note for a cleaner setup that never requires charging, we do have the PowerPlay wireless charging mat which not only constantly charges the mouse, but it also has a built-in light speed receiver for a cleaner experience and aesthetic. Now that we've completed the hardware setup, go ahead and run the G-Hub installation you downloaded earlier. And in another video, we'll explore everything you can do to customize your experience with G-Hub. If you have any further questions or concerns, please visit our support page where you can find FAQs, our knowledge base, and a lot of other cool resources that will help you get the absolute best out of your products. Thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time.